years ago, you took your wedding vows, and though many things have changed in your lives since then, one thing has remained constant, your love. Meyer and Brie, is it your heart's desire to publicly recommit yourselves to each other in marriage and to renew your vows of faithfulness and love? Since the first moment we have met to this very moment. I have loved you. He loves you too. <laughs> there will never be a day, a minute, a second, that my love will ever fade. I love you, my wife, forever, till God takes me. I thank you for the man you are, the most loving and wonderful father you are. How did you ever come into my life when you did? I am the luckiest and most proud wife and mother in the world to have you and our beautiful sons. Thank you for the best gift I've ever received. I love you. Meyer, as you place this ring on Bree's finger, please repeat after me. Bree, you are more precious to me today than yesterday. Bree, you are more precious to me today than yesterday. And you will be more cherished tomorrow than you are today. You will be more cherished tomorrow than you are today. Please wear this ring. Please wear this ring. As a symbol of my eternal love for you. As a symbol of my eternal love for you. A love that transcends all of our yesterdays. A love that transcends all of our yesterdays. All of our todays. All of our todays. And all, of our tomorrows. and all of our tomorrows. Bree, as you place this thing on Meyer's finger, please repeat after me. Meyer, you are more precious to me today than yesterday. Meyer, you are more precious to me today. And you will be more cherished tomorrow than you are today. And to this blessed institution we call marriage, I now bestow upon you, once again, the most honorable titles of husband and wife. Meyer, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is my great pleasure to present to you, for the second time, Mr. and Mrs. Meyer Nee. <laughs> make it short and sweet. We love you guys. I love my sister. I love Myers. I love my nephews. And uh, like I said, here, everything that I've always wanted to be in a relationship and with the kids and stuff. So our dad is here in the spirit. My dad, he is, he would be so happy to meet you, Myers. So sad that he's not here for you. But my uncle Marchie is, wherever he is. My brother, my uncle, there he is. I see him waving. So that's it. That's all I have to say. We love you guys. It's a beautiful family, a beautiful wife. I, look, I wish you guys the best. Um, thanks for having me here. 
It's come a long way since Corto and your little brother Marky Sue. <laughs> I just want to thank you both uh, for a beautiful day. We're in a beautiful location. It's amazing. And uh, Meyer's always been there for me, um, even through tough times uh, when I didn't have anybody else. So I, I, I really want to say thank you. Uh, welcome to the Neat Family, Greek. Again. Hey, first off, uh, we all know Myers and New York Giants fan, right? Oh. I really cherish this moment, especially when I'm here with Meyer and uh, his lovely wife, Bree. So glad to be here. We have a fun family, and uh, I thank all you guys for being here. And Meyer and Bree, you better not split up. I'm gonna come back and kick your gas down. And Bree's a 49er fan, by the way, so. And I'm a 49er fan, by the way, too. I'm just an eight years old. The mandatory segue to that is I'm a Dallas Cowboy fan. No! No doubt in my mind, he loves every, every single phone, every single cell in his body. He loves this girl. I, there's a line from Big Fat Greek Wedding. Yes, the husband is the head, but the wife is the neck. She's going to point that thing wherever he needs to go. <laughs> and I think Bree has got a very, very good neck on her to, to do that. So she's going ahead. So here's to the bride and groom. I only got to go free for a day. And one day, to all of you that know her real life, that's enough to know that she's a wonderful person. And yeah, sure. I've known Meyer my whole life, and when I see, came to see Meyer for that first, the first wedding, I, uh, I haven't seen him any happy as he, as he is now in his whole entire life. And now five years later, I see him both together again, and they're even more happier than ever. And I can see 10 years from now, I guarantee you, they'll be more happier than ever. And these two, my oldest child, Meyer, Meyer is... I, my eyes tear up when I think about Mark. He's, he's us. He's one of us. These two set a good example. Um, they know how to work together. They know how to compromise together. And it's staying power. It's working. And the babies, you know, they've, they've given me joys. I love them both. I don't know what else to say. I not only knew Meyer, but Dave. I knew him for a minute. Wow. And he was always in a hurry. They had a labor room and a delivery room. Well, Meyer couldn't wait for the delivery room. He was born in the labor room, and I almost caught him. Okay. But he was in a hurry. So he met this Verdue babe, the girl from Muskoy, went to St. Anthony School. And guess where I went? St. Anthony's School. St. Anthony School, and I, I guess it was inevitable that, that she wound up my dog. I'm happy. Way to go. When we first met, Bree became a hussy. I really can't remember how it came about, but for us, this is where it is. And, and of course, Meyer is our godson. Dory and I have about 14 of them, and we don't even know where he is in the line, but he's early on. <laughs> anyway, here's to Meyer and the husband. And my father, Meyer, he would definitely approve. You know, and wow, we really turned out to be a wonderful, wonderful girl. I love you all my life. Meyer, thanks for you, bro. I love you too. I'm really proud, proud of you too. Thank you.